Chase's stunning upset over Muscles Marinara won him a trip to the Fudan Championships. But the sweet victory soon turned sour when his practice match against Chef Albert ended in defeat. A kitchen commando loved by critics and crowds alike, Albert is flavored to win it all. But don't count out Chase just yet, cause he's hungry for revenge. You want, but there's one thing I'm sure of down deep inside. I'm gonna beat Albert and win the championship! Welcome to today's championship food on battle. We're here on the decks of the SS Food Fight, where chefs from around the globe, armed with their most fearsome foodons, are ready to do battle. But who will emerge from the snack pack and be named champion? There's only one way to find out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to get cooking? These monsters once were edible, so everybody take a look at combat creatures you can cook. Fighting Foodums, that's only for in between. Fighting Foodums, this is really neat to see. Pick the right ingredients to make the food obedient. Depending on the spice you add, your food on could be really bad. Bad, bad, bad. Fighting Foodums, sugar fruit or even shoot. Fighting Foodums, it's fruit food with attitude. Carefully select your recipe. So we'll attack with gooey cheese. Power up the fried rice with some peas. What will win, Italian or Chinese? If anything's left over, you can freeze. So keep your kitchen for a brawl to start a kitchen free for all. And when your monster takes a fall, whip up a little matzo ball. Fighting food up, pseudo food or demon shoot. Fighting food up, it's red food with attitude. We have a wiener! And now for the first battle of the day! The chef that everyone loves to love, Albert! Cabo Rito, saddle up! Can Cowboy Rito lasso a victory? Cause he'll be facing double trouble from the cooking twins Barb and Q! Sweet Demon! Ha! Yeah, Sweet Demon! Yeah. This duo of Swedish meatballs could put anyone through the grinder! Sweet Demon! Sweet Demon! Sweet Demon! Sweet Demon! Sweet Demon! Yeah! Ha ha! Yeah! Sweet Demon! Sweet Demon! Ropes in a winner! Are you ready for this? Chef Kima never uses a recipe, while his rival, Chef Salvador, goes strictly by the book. Cookbook, that is. He loves it. Hurry up. Curry ends it in a hurry! Victory goes to Kima! Next up is Eclair! This tough young chef is a big hit with the boys, but she only has eyes for desserts! Honey Chan! In this match, Eclair will be facing Chase! Now serving Fried Racer! Fried Racer! Ha ha! Fried Racer! Honey Chan! Fried Ricer's tough, but Pudding Kid's holding his own. It's not easy going against the grain. And Puddington beats a hasty retreat. Fried Ricer wins the match. Crowd. Hey, come on! Let's hear some noise out there! Give it up for the winner! So you think you're a tough guy making Eat Claire cry? You're the one who's gonna be crying! You got a lot of nerve, buddy! Ah, ow, ooh, I hate to see what they do to you when you lose around here! Ah. Juice man! Meanwhile, on the starboard deck, it's Chet versus Python! Chet's Juice Man is beating Sir Dumpling to a pulp! Juice! 
Joe Dumpling! <laughs> that was a nice move, Juice Man! How much juice of juice can one food on take? Dumpling! Huh? One more knockout like that, and that dumpling is done for! Oh no! Smashing Jolly God! Big Bim! Sir Dumpling, die! Dumpling! Yeah! Finish him off, Juice Man! I say! Oh, Dumpling! Oh, dear! No, Sir Dumpling! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the Juice Man's gonna put the squeeze on! Oh. Dumpling! Juice oh. Man! <laughs> Dumpling, stand up! Hey, don't go soft on me! I told you before, don't play with your food ons! Now come on, let's wrap this thing up! Hold it! Huh? You already won, Chet, so just back off! Are you serious, Chase? Really? You can't even win a lousy practice match, and now you're trying to tell me what to do? I have to remember what Oslo told me. Rise, rise up! Hold on! Chase, no time for moping, my friend. The battle starts in only ten minutes. Who cares? With that attitude, you'll be toast. Now listen up. Chase! Ow, hey! Hello, I said listen up. We have to clear your head of all these bad thoughts. Huh? A chef's energy should flow like the deep blue sea, calm and focused in preparation, then fierce as the strongest tide in battle. The best way to stay afloat is to stay, stay positive, positive, and, and your, your food ons will fight to their, their fullest, fullest potential. potential. I'm sorry. Was I playing too rough? Yeah, that's right, and you'll pay for it in the next round. <laughs> I'm shaking in my boots. Oh, and by the way, speaking of boots... Juice? <laughs> Sir Dumpling! <laughs> Didn't I? Next time, he won't be so lucky. Oh, no! <laughs> Welcome to the second round of our tournament, where chefs will battle with two Fudons at a time. Our first battle, Kima versus Albert, promises to be a heated one. Kima will be using Tropical Punch and Gradiator. For Albert, it's Cowboy Rito and his Pasta Paisan's Forget About It. Forget about it! It's a clash of cutlery as these feuding food on stare up the field! Tropical bomb! Kima's future is certainly up in the air! Yeah! Oh no! Oh. Kima's boys crash down in defeat as Chef Albert brings home the bacon! The stage is set for Chase and Chet! Pound Cake and Juice Man are ready to rock! And Chase's fried ricer and omelet are also prepared to stir things up! Rock and roll. Thank you very much. That omelet looks like it's ready to flip. Rock and roll. Juice, 
man attacks with fists of fury, but Fried Ricer rolls with the punches. Right now, oh, Fried Ricer! Rock and roll. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. make even Sir Dumpling look good. <laughs> Chet has this match in the doggy bag. <laughs> and that smart Alec Chase is getting his just desserts. All right, yeah. here we go, yeah. With both Foodons in sorry shape, Chase looks just about finished. Half cake, juice man, serve the last course. Rock and roll. Thank you very much. All right! Oh. Let him have it! When the smoke clears, we'll have a winner! Thank you. Thank you very much. Snatched from the jaws of defeat, the victory goes to Chase! Good job, son. Well, it could be worse. It could be raining. That's right. Huh. Get up! I've had it with you losers! <laughs> Come on! I said get up! <laughs> Cut it out! Hmm? You can't do that to them! Oh, yes I can! These foodons are mine and I'll do what I want with them! Well, don't expect to win any matches treating them like that. You should show them some respect. Fried Risa! <laughs> Now get going! Thank you very much. Chase? What? I have to admit, you surprised me today. But don't let it go to your head, because next time we fight, I'm going to beat you. Badly! Unbelievable! Tomorrow, weather permitting, Chase will fight Albert in the finals. I hope he has a powerful food on on the back burner. Otherwise, his chances of winning are pretty slim. Eh? Chase, how's it going in here? Terrible. I can't think of a single recipe that could help me win. I've got to come up with one more powerful food on if I'm going to beat Albert. Ah, who am I kidding? There's no way I can cook up a new food on by tomorrow. Ah, I should just quit. Well, Chase, you're not going to get anywhere using paper and pen. A chef needs pots and pans to create his masterpieces. Yeah, you're right. Let's cook. You said it. Stay focused, Chase. I think you're onto something. Don't be afraid to mix things up a little. Let your imagination soar. Always remember, Chase, a meal ticket plays a very important role in creating a food arm. It provides the energy it needs. Energy, right. But the meal ticket can't do it all. It's the skill of the chef that makes a great food arm. <laughs> gonna be amazing. I wish my dad could see me now. Come up with anything. Ugh. Ugh. I'm getting kind of hungry. Huh? Welcome back for another day of 
exciting food on battles. We've got a record crowd on hand to watch two great chefs square off in culinary combat. In this corner, undefeated king of cuisine running all his competition out of town, Albert. And in this corner, the chef no one expected to get this far, Chef Chase. Huh? Well, that's strange. I wonder where our challenger is hiding. I guess the kid turned chicken and flew the coop. Probably couldn't handle another helping of humiliation from Albert. 30 seconds and counting, but still no sign of Chase. If he doesn't arrive by 12 sharp, he'll forfeit the match and the championship will go to Albert. Wait, something's happening. It's Chase and not a second too soon. Why is he walking like a zombie? <laughs> Looks like he's been up all night scrambling to make a new food on. There's no way he can win the championship with something he just cooked up. Get ready, Chase. I beat you once, and now I'm gonna beat you again. Not this time you won't. Chase, I've never lost a match, but if you're looking to swallow your pride, have I got a feast for you. All right, Budons, come on out. Yeah Forget it, buddy. Ricer, here we go! Fried Ricer! Ha, ha, fried Ricer! Fried Ricer. Omelet! <laughs> Prepare for battle! Hmm. Those are food-ons. Looks like you ordered from the kids' menu. Ha. All right, Crab Quake, let's do it! Crab Quake! What a team! Crab Quake! Let's see what Chase has in store for Albert! Huh? Meatballs! Meatballs? Burnt meatballs? These guys couldn't fight off a cold! If you can't say something nice about someone, you shouldn't say it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Those foodons are so pathetic, I almost feel guilty beating them. Oh well. Okay, it's time to meet Hot Dog On It! Hot Dog On It! Before we begin, let's review the lineup. Fighting for Chase, we've got Fried Ricer, Omelette, and Hot Dog on it. And for Albert, it's Forget About It, Crab Quake, and Cowboy Rito. Crab Quake! Fried Ricer! Forget about it! Crab Quake! Forget about it! Fried Ricer! Fried Ricer! Fried Ricer! Fried Ricer! Fried Ricer! There ought to be a claw against this! Dog Chase could use four food ons and he still wouldn't be able to beat me. Dog 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 Chase, words can't do it. You must speak to them from your heart. And when you do, the Fudons will answer. Learn from them the special topping that powers their inner strength. Once you unlock this mystery, the victory will be yours. I've got to pick the right power topping for this battle. But what should it be? I've got it! It's time for Iceberg Lettuce! I've got to put an end to this fast. Crab Quake, let him have it! Crab Quake! Incredible! It's like they're not even there. They're not. Huh? Hold your fire, Crab Quake! There's nothing to shoot! That lettuce topping created a mirror image as a decoy. I need to come up with a new plan. Okay. I'd rise up! Cowburrito, forget about it. I 
never thought I'd have to say this, but I give up. Okay, doggone it. Doggone it! Doggone it! Yeehaw. And Chase is the winner! Yeah. Great job, Albert. That was a tough loss. I guess I must have really learned a lot from you in that practice match. After everything I've said and done, he's still being nice to me? Put it there! I can't show any sign of weakness. Uh, I hate to tell you this, Chase, but the truth is you didn't really win. I told my food ons to go easy on you. How come? I figured I could beat you with my eyes closed, so I decided to save my strength for King Gorgeous Big Four. I knew that the winner of this match would go on to battle one of them. No one's ever beat him. I mean, except for my hero, that is. Chef Jack. He's your hero? Chef Jack is also my father! It looks like Chase just made a new friend. But can he cut the mustard against King Gorgeous Big Four? Tune in next time to find out. Free for all. And when your monster takes a fall, whip up a little matzo ball. <laughs>